Hey guys, I just finished a stream where I used these Claude Code plugins to create a front end. I just want to show you guys how quickly and easily you can set this up. This video assumes that you've already got Claude Code installed. I'm not going to go through those processes just now, but instead what I'm going to show you to do, show you how to do is how you can very easily set this up. Now, the end result of this is that I created a beautiful looking website pretty much instantly. Now, this video kind of assumes that you do the following, all right? You come in, you follow my steps of creating a convex project and then creating the AI implementation of that convex project. I'm not going to go into that in this video. If you want to follow along with the process, I just started streaming a brand new series where I'm building this product that you can see on screen from scratch using convex and Claude code to just bash through it as quickly as possible. In two hours, I built everything you saw, you can see here. But at the very start, I had a very, very basic AI generated system, not the one that you can see here. But I, the, the first thing I recommend you do is you build your backend on convex and you pump it with AI and you, you create your AI implementation. The reason being is that when you then go to create your front end, right, it actually has something to draw from. So instead of you know, creating the homepage first, create your AI implementation, and then you can create something that looks like this with basically one single prompt using the method that I'm going to show you in this video. Now, if you want to get all the latest and greatest information from me and from AI generally, check out the school community. There'll be a link to the school in both the description and the pinned comment. Right now, I this is like a brain dump for everything that I learn every single day and put it into a digestible format for you to read. Check out the school community. It'll be one of the links in the description and the pinned comment. Now, how does this actually work? Now, instead of complicated processes, what I recommend you do is you go to claude-plugins.dev. This is a website that I wish I had created, but someone else has gone and created. I don't know if this is actually anthropic or not. All you have to do, right, is it's on the very first page, scroll down to front end design, right, and just press the copy button here. Let's just exit out and do cd dot dot, cd dot dot, clear, and then do mkdir skills plugin test, cd skills plugin test, and then literally copy that command. That will run the process. You can see it's installed like this. And then all you do is write the word Claude to start Claude code. And then you say, please start the front end skills plugin. What will that do? It will start the Claude plugin, right? So you can see here, it says use skill front end design, right? That's the one that we just added. You can see it's uses Davison skills plugin test. Yes, beautiful. So now the front end skills design is running. Now I'm just gonna try this again because I wanna show you guys how this works from the very beginning, right? Please activate the skills front end plugin, uh, skills front end, let's just try that. Now normally what this does is it doesn't search anything, it just starts it, there we go, perfect. And say yes here, and then this will give you a quick summary of what the plugin does and what it's for. So another thing you can do as well, guys, just to see if this is working, is you can run npx Claude plugins list, and you can see Claude code plugins front end design, right? That's what we wanted. So Claude dash C here to start it again. The front end design plugin is now active. I'll apply these principles when building any front end work, typography, color, motion, backgrounds. So if you go and watch the stream that I just did, right? I'm not gonna go into the entire process in this video, right? But basically what you do is you start a new convex project. Let's just get Excel draw up. You start a new, start a new convex project, right? Get code from AI Studio. And what I mean by that, I don't mean build an entire thing on AI Studio, but if you just go to AI Studio and click on, um, let's just uh, go on the playground. Click on Nano Banana Pro, right? For example, I recommend using Nano Banana Pro. The reason being is it's actually multimodal, right? So if you press code up here, right, you can grab any code you want. So let's say you wanted to use VO instead. If I just go back and press VO, 
and press code. Sorry, playground, right? And then click up here, search for VO, VO2. Not a great example. Let's say we wanted to use 2.5 Pro or just 2.03 Pro Preview. Get code, right? It's the same thing. We can grab the code here. Let's just click up here. We want Nano Banana Pro, get code. If you actually look inside the code, you'll see response modalities, image, text. That means you can have a conversation with it. It can generate text for you and it can generate images, right? Just from these lines of code here. So that is a really seriously nice process. So that's all I mean by get a code from AI Studio. Build a, I'm going to put back end because it's not really a back end because it's on convex, but whatever. Build a back end AI functionality. So in my case, right, on postforge.ai, which by the way, you can sign up to completely for free. It's not working because it needs to be on a private window. Hang on. If I go to postforge.ai, so if you sign in here, you can sign up today, guys. It's completely free to use. Uh, and basically what it does is it allows you to generate um, social media posts, right? And it's free for now. It won't be free forever. I'm just, you know, it's it's just free for now. So if I go to dashboard here, this is built with Convex, right? So what I did, the first thing I did was I built the back end of this entire project. Okay, and then what you do is, like I said, you build this kind of back end, ignore the UI UX. Originally, it looked terrible, like it always does when you first build it. You build the back end, right? So mine is just a social media post generator. Then install the front end design plugin. Then ask it to create a $1 million app homepage then ask it to make the back end dashboard fit with the front front end design system this is my entire thing right in 2 hours i managed to build the entirety of postforge.ai which again you can use for free even if you just go and sign up just to look at it and understand it and see it as an example just go and look at it, guys, because in two hours, I set up an entire database system, right, using Convex. All of this code, all of these functions, there's no back end. It just lives here, right? So th there's no need to worry. There's no security problems. It's all just in Convex. It's a fucking beautiful system, I'm telling you guys. And the real power of this is the final step, which is this part here the front end plugin and asking it to create a $1 million app homepage, because then you have a design system, which you can apply to the rest of the website. Now in tomorrow's stream, what I'll be doing is I'll be creating SEO pages. I'll be improving the backend functionality and I will start to add integrations for things like automatically posting and scheduling content for businesses. Cause they're the three things that people actually care about well not seo obviously seo is just for me to get customers i'm going to leave this video there guys check out the school community because it has a lot of this information already in it this build process is proving to be the strongest thing that i've ever done in terms of vibe coding it is changing the game when it comes to vibe coding i'm telling you guys try and follow this process follow my stream that i did the first half an hour of the stream was me wasting time so this is about 1.5 hours to build an entire AI application that is safe, secure, fast. It will have SEO in it, database, authentication, everything. There's no bullshit here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.